Hello there everyone, and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're going to be checking out Mount and Blade Bannerlord. Uh, so, this is the sequel to Mount and Blade Banner, or Mount and Blade Warband, which is a game I played a lot about 10 years ago. Uh, so Bannerlord has been a long time coming. I think it was announced even around that point. Uh, but I always loved Warband. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Uh, I haven't followed specific news about its development for a while. Uh, so I'm going to be learning a lot about the game as we do this, uh, beyond just whatever was carried over from Mountain Blade, uh, from Warband, rather. But for those who don't know, it's kind of like a, a mix of a strategy game, like a grand strategy game, RTS, and, uh, first-person shooter or first-person sword fighter, uh, where you kind of, you have your own character, but you go around recruiting troops who you then lead into battle and you can kind of set up your own faction, you join other factions. Uh, but we're going to play a, a new campaign here. And I, I'm just really excited about this. I don't know if my computer is going to be able to run it. This game is on uh, early access right now and they, they say it should be early access for about a year. Uh, but we'll see. If that results in any optimization as it happens. But we are going to pick our character's culture. Uh, snowy folk. I kind of want to do foresty folks, I guess. Batanians. The Batanians still remember the olden days when the woods stretched across northern Colorado, and the Empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity. The fierce warriors remain loyal to their traditional ways. They paint their faces when going to battle, and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while using great axes and two-handed swords with... Ah, I don't love that. Force give 10% less speed penalty. Uh, Masters of Mounted Archery, shooting and then galloping out of reach. I think I'll probably pick it based on the weapon then. Uh, caravans are cheaper, 10% less the trade penalty. Empire. Experts in siege warfare. 20% less penalty from snow. Prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback. All right. Um, are there Kuzates or Batanians? Let's just go with Batanians because I like the picture more. All right. Uh, sorry, just refreshing this. I was having some issues with my internet beforehand, so, okay. For whatever reason, chat wasn't loading. There we go, though. A Pog. A Rivond. A Agent Fox. Hacked Nerd. Oh, Ember. Orange Man. All right. I guess I'm just standing here in my underwear. Uh, do I not get clothes? Oh god, you can just do everything. But he... This is... This is quite something. Alright, I'm kind of pale. Do I just, like, try to... Oh god, we're gonna be here forever. Stand fast! Yeah! I didn't see a difference there. That is onward! Face up! Eh, a little bit. Close with it. Fire! Pull back! Charge! Okay. I see what's going on here. <laughs> wow. The, we're, we're just going to be here all day now. That looks the closest to me that we've got so far. I don't want to spend too long doing this, honestly, but... Heaven be praised! Footman! No facial hair. 
Okay, there, there's not enough hair options that I'm going to be here all day. We're, we're safe. We're safe now. So there's change clothing, which just means get rid of or put on clothing. Oh well. Good enough. Do I not uh, do my name? No. Oh well. Okay, that's enough of that. Choose your family. You were born into Ten skill level and one focus point on scouting and tactics, roguery and charm, medicine and charm. I think we might do bards. Yeah, let's do bards. Wow, this is a lot more depth than uh, than the than warband had. Choose your early childhood. The child you were noted for. The way with people, charm and leadership. Leadership and tactics. Attention to detail, athletics and one-handed. Aptitude for numbers, engineering and trade. I feel like we're gonna do either way with people or leadership. Let's do leadership. Like all village children, you also helped out in the fields. You. Heard of the sheep for athletics and throwing. Work in the village smithy for two points in smithing. Repaired projects for smithing and engineering. Gathered herbs to medicine and scouting and endurance. Hunted small game. Own tactics. Trade and charm. One point to social. Uh, I'm going to do herded sheep just so we get like some physical skills here. As a youngster growing up in Calradia, your war was never too far away. So I think Calradia is the same continent or whatever as Warband. So I wonder if I'm going to recognize anything from the map. It's been so long. Rogering and throwing, one point to cutting. Absolutely. During young adulthood, your biggest achievement was... Themes, escapade, athletics, and roguery. One point to endurance. Uh, ten skill level, and focus of bone crossbow. 100 dangerous animal. Let's go with saving a village. Choose your story background. Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. I'm going to just move my mic a bit closer here. Your home, eventually you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and two younger siblings to it. So you went with your brother and your two younger siblings, who are, because they're younger, clearly less important. Uh, but you did not make it. To town you thought was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings seized, but you and your brother survived because... Uh, 10 point, 10 skill points and one focus point to roguery and tactics, attribute to cunning. It looks like he's standing in the same place, so my brother's height depends on how I fought off the raiders. Alright, 
Uh, let's do. I, I guess I'll trick them. Into your name, Corey. Right, determine the game difficulty. Let's do easy, easy, easy. Enable death. Do we want to have that on? Maybe we turn that off. I don't know. I guess for the first time we'll turn it off. I think, I'm not sure if we can, uh, yeah, every part, but I did. Uh, I don't know if we can change these options afterwards, but hopefully we can. We'll adjust it as we go, because it's been so long since I've played Mountain Blade. Brother, it's been three. Brother, it's been three days now since we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Farrock and Ithene? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. Or the practice could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders. Uh. I guess I'll do the tutorial. I'm going to run the course. I need to know if I can fight if I have to. Let's go on then. I'm not much sure what the distance on this actually is. Does that look like it went way wide? Okay, maybe not. Okay, yeah, that I was trying to adjust for like fall off, but I guess I'm not playing Call of Duty. So, Let's see. I'm not sure what weapon I want to focus on more, so maybe we'll learn that from tutorial. That took way too long. I don't really like crossbows in any game, so I'd rather not crossbow. Can I release early? Okay, you can. Definitely a lot more fall off with the javelin. I 
Alright, not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with bows instead of, uh... Oh wait, there's more. My bad. Can I get past? Eh, got it. Oh, I didn't have many more. If I murder my brother early, then... That guy's really getting into it. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Oops. I never really liked doing mounted combat in Mountain Blade. I, I blade. I'd prefer to just have it be blade, blade and blade. I did do some like mounted archery, but. See if I like it any better in this game. Maybe the pork hunting last night prepared me more for it. Too far. Oh, as many as you can. I don't think I need to hit all of them. Good enough. This is a much prettier game than it was before. It actually feels a little bit more Skyrim-y, I think. Can I pick it up from here? That one felt like it was taunting me. I had to stop for it. Oh well. I feel like I somehow drove past a bunch of them, but I don't think I did. Oh yeah, there's still a bunch left up here. That one went like super wide. Jump shot. I probably don't need this tutorial. Yeah, I'm I'm done with this. Melee, yeah, I I just don't need this. The overworld map seemed better. Can I go back? Because there were conversations off conversation options with uh, whatever his name is. Where is he? I thought he was over here. There. 
Give the door a punch. Oh, God. All right, yeah, so we're good. Uh, all right. Let's see, character... Can we actually do any skill increases right now? No. Uh, quest. Active quest done. Party. Here we go. Niasion. I like how we can have 11 prisoners with just the two of us. Uh, can I... Let's see how, how this looks. Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. Brother. Tevia, navigating Calradia. Welcome to Calradia. You can explore the world map by moving the camera with Wazda. Panning and view right, or panning your view by right clicking and dragging your mouse and zooming. Oh shit. Revolt. Pravin. Okay, these all sound familiar. Yeah. Okay, so it is the same place. Uh, moving your party is done by clicking on the map. This will leave a mark on the target location unless you have clicked on an inaccessible area such as Mount C. Let's set off to Tevia. Oh god. Looks really fucking stupid. Oh well. Run, 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 run. Brother. You've arrived at the village. Look at that hair on that guy. That is that is intense hair. Maybe he was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. We're here, I guess. So we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The head man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. Speak to head man. Okay, the horse is unnecessary. Hello there. Interaction with this person is disabled during tutorial stage. Wow, his face. He looks like he's on something. Lay off the bath salts, buddy. Empire Peasant, Teenager, no named characters yet. I don't know if there's many named characters. I guess uh, usually they were in a bar in the first one. For some reason I thought Warband was two, but I guess maybe it was an expansion. Because this is two. You're just a peasant? Yeah, okay. The cities are a lot more alive than they were in the first one. I was wrong to get off my horse. Is there a... Let's see. Gameplay, is there a run... Oh, nope, mouse and keyboard. Is there a run option? Zoom, view, walk, run, caps lock. Okay. Oh, this is running. My bad. plowed into that guy. Hardcore parkour. No. Run, 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 
run, run, run, run, run, run, run. What news from the mock? I'm so excited to play this game. God damn. All right. I am Yupatar, headman of this village. What brings you here? Oh god, I didn't even look at his face before I started making that voice, but it, it matches. It fits. We need some help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry for hearing that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. All right. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I just... There we go. Brothers asks you to hire at least four men before sent out to face raiders. You can hire troops from villages and towns by clicking on the Recruit Troops button. Right. Uh, yeah, let's just get them all. So that'll cost 300. Uh, buy some food. Grain. Uh, two sacks of grain. You can do this by... I'm gonna get three sacks of grain. Huh, you can buy sheep as well. Maybe we don't do that. Well, uh, finish our preparations and talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship. Okay, well, let's see if we can buy more. Does grain spoil? No. Wait, 10. Uh. Avatar Korra was joining the troop of people in Tibia when the fire bending. <laughs> Pro bending. Uh. Well. Because Luke is saying that we lose all the money, so I'm, I'm tempted to just buy uh, a couple things here. I don't know how we tend for the sheep. Wait, 40. That checks out. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna buy the sheep. That is much easier. I don't have to go in. I wonder if we can make the sheep armed and fight for us. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time, name of Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, last we saw him, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He's on some sort of quest, he said, even though he wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for him and this Tactios, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about this quest. I feel like a horse is, like, pushing me. Oh. No, a lady is pushing me while I'm on my horse. All right, well. Uh, are there any more troops we can recruit? No. Locate and rescue traveler. Uh, look around the village to find the party that captured the traveler. Oh, so you can... You just walk around the village and you can find them? 
Oh, or do we just go with them on the campaign map? Okay. Uh... Okay, I think we do need to do this one on the uh, galactic map. You can tell your men to charge by opening the movement orders with F1 and choosing charge with F3. Okay, charge. God, get out of here. Are these throwing axes? Okay, that was terrible. Do I have a sword that I can use? Yes. All right, none of this mounted shit. I almost died there, that was terrible. Yeah, I just don't like mounted combat very much. I guess, like, mounted archery? Yes. Mounted pointing stuff? No. Maybe for, like, the initial charge, but... Gained renown and morale. You plundered gold. Rescuing and taking prisoners. After a hard-fought battle, you may have the choice to take some prisoners or recruit from those that you've freed from your enemy. Both options are done by transferring the troops to your party with the little arrow on the left. could recruit them, make them fight each other. Old fur armor... Armor tier 1, body armor 4... Wait, one point two, body armor seven, leg armor. Am I wearing any arm guards? Do those go here? Yes. Sweet. Cheap padding. Can I see my overall stats? So which one do you replace? Whatever, I'll just take them and then we can sell them if we need to. Uh, what's my encumbrance limit? Hey, Lone Ranger. Mounted spheres may be good, but I'm not good at them. And that's what matters. And I don't enjoy them. Get them. Attack. Attack. No, that's what I just said. All right. I think that's my brother up front there. Oh, I'm healed anyways. I don't know if friendly fire is a thing, but I don't want to stab someone to find out.
I'm not sure if these get recovered after the battle. Catch! Alright, can we catch the axe? Oh no. Oh well. Get more prisoners. Sure. Leather cavalier boots. What are we wearing for boots? Armor tier two, leg armor fourteen. Leg armor. Okay, that is better. Weight's better, but the armor's worse. Oops. There we go. Hundred Revenge Bannerlord mod win. There is a lot of mod support for the last Mountain Blade. There was even a Star Wars mod for it. Hopefully there will be like a Lord of the Rings mod or something. So I think, like, Tale of Worlds, I'm assuming, is a relatively small company, so... I think they understand how important their modding community was. God damn it, I fucking missed. Buddy, watch where you're going here, bud. I'm in charge here, so it doesn't count if I hit you. Like, I just fucking hucked it right at the ground. Right in the face. I need to change the class on some of these people so that we're not always... horse riding. That, that went a bit too far. You gained renown. Wow. Cool. Wow. Norse Hatchet. Norse Hatchet was actually my stage name back when I did uh, off Broadway shows. Arm Armor 30, Armor Tier 4. Weight is worse, though. So let's get that. I don't like these clothes. Oh, it's the padding that I switched out. Uh... Oh well. Throwing ashes, stack them out. You rescued several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. There was like two or three months in 2011 where I just played the shit out of Mountain Blade, but... I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was with the caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. This guy just looks like the brother of the guy we spoke to in the town, or even just the same guy. So we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive if just for the ransom. Then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water. I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke cropping up, and I told them, but they've just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I would have had to... Th maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. But after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took off and rode with more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around the area. If this lord had your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing left of value to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. 
I was trying to find out more about it, but as I say, I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd meant to travel more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. I'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, but I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins, but I got a mercenary whom I treated once and swore it was related to Naretsi's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Naretsi's was of course the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you can find out its true value. Thanks again for saving me. I hope our paths will cross again. Find out the hat. Okay. He's got a little tooth there. Uh, so I guess we just got to go back to the main town. Or no, we don't even need to do that. Well, what's our inventory looking like? Open your space inventory. Prisoners. Corey's party, Headman's troop. Can I do these individually? Cavalry, tier 4. Or I guess you get them recruited and they're just whatever they were. You can't uh, handle them individually then. And you're just getting whatever. Oh right, that, that sounds familiar from what the first one was. You do get to upgrade them eventually, but you get whatever the default is for it. Uh, we'll recover a bit as we go. I was kind of hoping that guy would be um, a doctor for us. What do these mean? Mountain Bandit 6, Raiders 4, Raiders 4. Alright. I don't know if we can afford that. Maybe we need more people first. Did he? Okay. Oh, never mind. Up we go. Up we go. We attack at nightfall. Did I take you off your horses? I'm not sure. Let's see if I can lure him in. Uh, let's say follow me. Maybe not in such a cluster. Oh, they get off their horses for manic. Okay. There's one. Can we just, like, steal anything from these guys? Get some of these weapons? I wanted that bow. You are way too far up. Alright, we got enough people there. I don't need to worry about it. I was worried about the number of people they had, but everyone's just off on their own, so...
Right. I'm still not sure if we've lost an axe every time we've thrown it. Oh, this guy looking real tough with his with his helmet on. We're all walking like we just shat our pants, though. So who's this that comes through my place of business killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven, I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested a dozen little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to a slave market. I know, though. Oops. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that or I force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled in here with your tongues. Or you and I can settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Do we want a duel? What do you guys think? Duel or full-on... Kerfuffle. I, I could go either way. I feel like a kerfuffle would be uh, would be a bit of a cop out. I guess we'll do duel. Hey, what the. F That didn't go well. Oops. That would I I thought there'd be more uh, more setup than that. That was not good. That was a dry run. We're good, guys. It's a tutorial. We're fine. I forgot how important directional blocking was to this. God. So bad at this. Okay, so to block... I guess you drag it to the direction you want to block. There is multiplayer, Valerie. I'm not sure if it's just like versus or what. There's one out of 14. Or 18? Was it 10 of one? No, I think it was 6, 4, and 4. Yeah. 
Let's see if I can block a shot here. Nope. Not gonna worry about that anymore. I'm just gonna I'm I'm tactician guy now. Oh, that's where you went. Thought the guy had a torch, but it was just our Faction icon. It does suck being the worst soldier in this squad, though. Right, I never would have thought to just go up over the mountain, but uh, I guess that's where we're going. That was weird. God damn it. Shouldn't have gone after someone alone. That was awful. I can't block for shit. And I have no soldiers left. I should have done the blocking tutorial. Got him. Yeah, I know you move the direction of the mouse to control the blocks, but it's until you're used to it, it's easier said than done.
Well, dude, for now, this is all there really is to do. But what I'm doing differently is leaving it up to my soldiers instead of doing anything myself. There he is. Yada yada. Yeah, we did win. Good job, guys. I contributed. I didn't really. We lost three. Uh, I leveled up, I think. Alright. Did it perfectly the first time. Well, I recognize defeat when I... Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. <coughs> that is hurting my throat. I can find. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll swing from a tree. Oh, you'll need my help, all right. If you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. I know you can set up auto block, but I want to learn how to do it. Should we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. Don't expect a cozy palican now, but you'd best not make it too hard to a trip on me. Is there a character creator in the game? Yep, you get uh, actually a lot more options than I was expecting when making your character. And I made Andy Samperk, I guess. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Tactios mentioned to you. That had something to do with Naretzi's folly. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking... I don't know what I'd voice it. I found this strange looking metal piece, though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright then, let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives. It could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. We need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed, you'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Tactio said it could be worth a fortune to the right person if you manage to not get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how, to get, how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. Uh, you can use our family name if you like or make up a new one. You'll have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Uh, loses doesn't sound like a good last name. Why not? Corey X2. No. Cory Corvelia. Uh, 
Uh, you can use our da da da. I already read that. Banner editor. Oh god. Oh god. It's a it's a choking duck. Let's see. It's a giant sea. It's, ooh, background colors, black, foreground color, yellow. I actually like this. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Sounds like a plan. Tutorial is now over. You are free to explore Calradia. Right, rebuild your clan. Uh, increase your dinners by a thousand. Grow your party to 20 men. Uh, reach clan tier one. Right now 25 to 50, hire one companion. Uh, Calredi is a land of, full of peril, but also opportunities. To face the challenges that await, you will need to build up your plan. Your brother told you there are many ways to go about this, but none that forego coin. Trade would be one means to this end, fighting, off, fighting and selling off captured bandits in town and other. Whatever path you choose to pursue, traveling alone would make you easy pickings for whoever came across your trail. You know that you can recruit men to follow you from the no notables of villages and towns, but they may ask you a favor or two of their own before allowing you access to more valued fighters. Naturally, you may also find more unique characters in the taverns of Calradia, however, these tend to favor more established clans. Investigate and reach his folly. Nobles talk to 0 to 10. Alright. I'm all alone. Let's go back to Tevia first. I guess I will. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put it on automatic and then I'll just train with it later uh where is it control box direction oh fuck I thought that was it oh well And buy some products. We already have, oh, we have one grain. It looked like they were riding turkeys. Oh well. The lantern on TV are owned mostly by Pharaon and Archon of the Southern Empire. The village is going through hard times, farm tools are rusty and broken, brush and weeds are reclaiming the outermost fields. Can I talk to you? I'm Cory, and who are you? I'm Vasilops, I own land around here, and speak of... Speak for many of the people in this village. Uh, I have a quick question. What is it? Never mind. Okay. Well, that was pointless. Hey, Kendrew.
Do you have anything? Uh, you probably don't have anything to... I'm Cory, and who are you? I'm Soterios. I've lived all my life here, working the land as I as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Tevia, the common farmers and craftsmen, like me, they li like for me to speak to. Yeah, they like me to speak for them. I have a quick question. Never mind. Okay. Let's go kill some dudes then. Cause they're right there. So close. Okay. Yeah, what do you want with us? Surrender or die. You'll never take us alive. Something inspirational. I see something that would take the heart of me. Ah, shit, what the f- But not this day! George! Go team! Go team! Got it. 0 0.8 renown, 0 0.9 morale. Alright, I'm gonna try to just prey on these smaller groups and maybe get some prisoners. Get some stuff to, to loot and to scoot. Five of us. I think we can... We won't be able to catch some of them. Let's go to this new town, Zestia. Obron. Uh, can we recruit more first? Five that we can recruit. A bunch that we can't. Let's talk to Obron. In the first one, there wasn't actually much you could do by walking around the village. So I don't know if they've actually changed that. Like, there's obviously stuff you can do by walking around, but just, like, nothing that you can't do by just going through the menus. I'm Cory, and who are you? I'm Obron. I own the land around here. I speak for many people in this village. Okay. Nothing. Go see the moistest. Why are you hanging out back here? May I ask your name? All right. Any idea if consoles were getting early access? I'm not. I, I would doubt it, but I'm not sure. I have no idea, really. Let's head down to one of the bigger towns. Maybe get a companion. Take a walk around the town center. Because I do want to see what the towns are like.
Sleepy the Cena, the Mary of the Beetle. We could try some arena stuff, because if I die, I don't think I actually die. Hi, sorry, I don't think I know you. I'm Corian, who are you? I'm Thacina, ask around about me, you'll learn I'm someone you don't want to mess with. I have a quick question. Nothing. I'm just lying to all these people. Let's go to the tavern. Ow. Just punch my way through. Start a fight. Kill everyone in the city. Oh, oh, kill everyone in the city. Oh, oh, looking pretty. All the chairs are highlighted. Dana? It's just the Cena again, is it? What is it, stranger? Who are you? My name is Cory, madam. Tell me about yourself. Nice, you want my story, then. Far back as I remember, I was living on the streets of Lyceron. Lycaron? With a bunch of other dirty barefoot scrogs. A group of men in our alley, they called themselves the Centaurs, I guess they took a liking to me. Gave me special errands to run for them. Started with picking pockets and ended with sticking knives into their enemies. Back then, I'd do anything for a handful of figs and cheese and pat on back. Pat on the head. Got a bit older, though, when their interest in me changed. Filthy, drunken louts pressing themselves against me, grabbing at me. I wasn't having that. Made up my mind to leave, but wasn't sure where to go. Then the day came that Lycaron burned, and everyone was out looting and robbing, and that was my chance. Lifted a bag of silver from the centaur's stash and lit out on the road. A hard life, but I must admire their fortitude, at least. Anyway, I wandered around a bit, but now I think it's time I found steady work. You wouldn't need someone to stick a knife in those that need sticking, do you? Uh, I can use someone like you in my company. I'm gonna need about 11. Wow. Is there anything else? Okay. She is expensive. I'm not sure what the going rate is for companions in this game. Or what her skill set really would end up being. So I have no idea if that's actually expensive or just something I can't afford. Because there is a difference. Wow, no fall damage from that. I am Spider-Man. I am Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, I did take fall damage from that. Alright. Let's go to the Lord's Hall, see if we can, uh... Get a meeting with the Lord in his hall. I'm going to turn my light on. One sec. Because I think pretty much all the recruiting has to be done in the tavern. Anyone else you usually don't recruit? Unless they've changed that. For companions like that, I mean. Alright. I guess they don't just let anyone in. Gang leader, gang leader, gang leader, merchant, 
Potter. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can buy anything useful or sell anything useful. I think we ha no, I don't know if we actually do have arrows. Do you have arrows though? Hardwood. Bolt. Maybe I should get a shield because of how terrible I am at this. Alright. See if we can catch them. Ideally not together. Ah! This may be a terrible use of our time. Oh yeah, go out in the open. Please. For the better part of two days we chased them. God damn it. Hope you brought your purse. You were what we might call brigands. I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying us a bit of coin. Okay, they outnumber us by one. Maybe I won't be complete tear or complete trash at this. Right, thank God my people were useful, because I wasn't. Well, we didn't even lose anyone. Have them with prized! Have them with prized! Alright. Good stuff. Can we recruit any of you? Nice. Oh, we're stealing all of your shit. Like, we're slow as fuck, but... If 
I'm gonna have to sell some of that, but maybe uh, we want to arm ourselves with some of that. We do have arrows now, but I still don't have a bow. Do we actually use the hammers or anything for anything? I guess maybe we can set up a smithy later, but... Yeah, let's go to Canaros. See if we can get the town to like us more. Buy products. You want to sell anything? It's probably worth less out here, but... And put some people on a horse, maybe? Okay, does that increase or decrease encumberment? Wait, 450, obviously. Uh, so let's see, party management. Can we put any of you on a horse? Infantrymen. I guess I uh, can't do that yet. All right, I don't want to actually recruit many more right now because we've got some money issues, or we will have some money issues. There's some wars going on, which is something. I guess we should probably try to sell some stuff. Trade. Can we actually get more for some of this? A little bit. I suppose these clothes, we can't change the loadout on individual infantry. Uh, I don't like the throwing axes. So I'm willing to sell that. Um, yeah. I do want to do this. Because we have arrows. Do I need to have all of that equipped to, to use it? Yeah, I guess, uh... Can't do both. Shit. Well, I've been absolute trash with my sword so far. But I do have a, a shield now. Uh, God damn it. Okay, let's just do it this way now. Maybe these looters will feel strong enough to challenge us. Or not run away. I, yeah, I couldn't care less about them. 
Uh, okay, what am I actually doing? And you can only have three? Unless you get more later. Sir so, Raven, thanks for coming out. Rebuild your clan. Okay, that's just all that stuff. I'm going to take the folly, talk to nobles, which we can't do yet. Surrender or die. Wow, what is what is up with your hair? That is something. Uh never take us alive. the leader. Alright, well, I, I killed the leader, so I don't... Um... Oh, I guess I can't end until... Did we lose anyone? We didn't lose anyone. Even better. And I I, uh, I gained a level there. Alright, so I guess you get leveled up based on what you actually do. Uh, do we want to take them? No, I, I don't want to waste my time. I don't think getting the looters is going to be worth it. Take all your shit, and uh, let's go. Wait a minute, what? Did I actually lose people? I thought I didn't lose anyone in that, but I guess not. Alright, can I recruit some more then? I must have misread. Alright, maybe we'll get a few more from Tevia. get an archer. Oh, were they just wounded? Right, okay. That makes sense. So I was only looking at the deaths. Do they get those two? Uh, yeah, they do. Hello, traveler. Hope you brought your purse. Okay, you thought.
I think even outnumbered, we got this. I'm gonna let them come at us. Okay, they're gonna come at me. God, no, we gotta fire into the sun. That was terrible. Oops. Hey, no fair. I could have done so much more if I just ran through with a spear. Attack army, looters, defending army, us. We did lose. Oh, okay, that's what that was. Like, right, right, right. No one died. Four wounded. So we'll have to take some time to recover. Uh, looters. Are they really worth taking prisoner? Do they turn into recruits afterwards? No, I'd rather just pay the honest folks from the villages. Let's talk to this guy. Zeno. Help Zeno's party against one dude. All right. Like 50 against one. Can we do it? All oh, right, ransom's a thing. Attack! Yeah, yeah, good, good job, team. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay, let's see the stats on that. You plundered one gold. Forgive me for what may seem like an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine, so who might you be? My name is Cory, sir. May I ask your name? I don't know why I gave myself a voice. I'm Zeno of the House of Lena Parties. My family has stood in the center and discharged its duties honorably since the first days of the Empire. Okay, your helmet is something else. I... Uh, what is Narizzi's folly? Well, that's uh, what some people call the Great Battle of Pendriac in the year 1077. Emperor Narizis led an army of a company, or led an army accompanied by Kuzates and Aserai to fight a coalition of Sturgians, Batanians, and Vlandians. It was a disaster for him. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. Uh, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendriac? Pendrake? I wasn't there. I know Lucan has some thoughts about it. What year is it? <laughs> that face. Who is Lucon? Corey. Uh, I have a quick question. Never mind. Something I'd like to discuss. I have a proposal. I will gift you that. All right then. Uh, I don't think I want to serve anyone, em any other empire right now. Or I guess I could. Do we have... Is there a way to see an opinion? Party... Need to be in a kingdom. 
character. Influence, expected change, hit points. Pretty morale, 30. All right, we're just going to stick with our clan right now. Ah. Can I get rid of that? Didn't mean to. Oh, well. Bow. We love crossbows. Accuracy with bows increased. That's good. Uh, social charm. Ninety-four dudes. Never mind. I thought he had like forty. Year is ten eighty-four. Okay. Let's actually save. Ooh, uh, let's go to AmyCon. Prime production sheep. Prime production sheep. Patamos talk. Hey, Marmar, Mar. how's it going? I'm Corey. Who are you? I'm Padmos. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. Uh, yeah, no one wants to talk to me. I wish it would go back to the menu rather than forcing you to. Because, like, clearly if you entered it from that point, then you might want to do it that way. Uh, recruit troops, maybe? Buy products. I don't know how much grain we have or grapes. We've actually got a fair amount. Um, what do we actually do with these? All right, we can preview just the, the sheep. That's cool. Okay, I don't want to buy a sheep yet because I have no idea what it does. Uh, but we can upgrade some people, apparently. Or we can just recruit you. Oh, no, we can upgrade to Imperial Train Infantrymen. Uh, oh, we can't, we can't do this. Uh, Bushwhacker. I'm going to have to get rid of one of you. There we go. Extortion by deserters. Hey, Star, I'm not bad. How are you? What's this game about? Uh, basically, it's like a RPG, grand strategy, fantasy... Or not really fantasy. Eh. Low fantasy, I guess. Um, sword fighting, army leading game. Akthon, I'm sorry, I don't think I know you. I'm Cory, who are you? I'm Akthon. I've lived here all my life. Worked hard. Okay. Same thing everyone else says. I've heard you may need help with a problem. Well, if you know how to fight, yes, we could use help. A group of deserters is camped out near here. They come every few weeks demanding food and money. They've killed two villagers who resisted them. We asked our mistress, Ragia, for help, but her men never get here in time. How can I help you? We lay an ambush in the village. When they show up, we spring. If you join us, I think we've got a good chance of ridding ourselves of the scourge before they murder us one by one. Uh, if you don't have the time, at least send one of your best companions with 10 experienced men for 10 days. I'll join you in the fight. Thank you. Just wait in the village. We'll stand out. We'll stand lookout and lure them into your ambush. Just wait for the signal. 
Uh, where's my dudes? Can I wait somewhere specifically? No. Okay, I just gotta do it. Should conquer a kingdom. Uh, eventually, we're gonna own a kingdom. One day, all these vineyards will be mine. your name about the task you gave me uh i don't think they'll be long now our hunters have spotted them making ready keep waiting don't worry be ready for the fight all right i'm just gonna get back on my horse then does padmos know anything about what's going on Oh my god, they have geese. Corey, what is it then? You don't know anything. Okay, you don't seem to be aware that there's all this going on. Okay. I'm pretty sure this guy is like setting me up to get captured and ransomed or something. I don't know. Maybe I just need to be more trusting. Yeah, I'll just... I guess I will just wait. Here they are. I figured because the exclamation marks were there, where they were doing that, but whatever. Who the hell are you? If you live in this village, you'd better rustle up some silver and wine. Look lively, eh? This time you'll have to fight for it. Let's do it. All right, there are a lot of them. Where's our allies? Or does it just group all of our villagers with us? Holy shit. Attack! They have horsies. That was, uh, that was intense. How many of us are even still alive? The battle like moved across town. Come on. Yeah. 
Uh, is there really just 3v1 left? Or 4v1? God damn. We lost nine people to death. Only one wounded. Including, okay, four recruits, but we did lose two of our five infantrymen. Uh, or actually, what is this? Kills. That's kills, never mind. We lost two of our three infantrymen. Oh, no, it was five. Never, I don't know. This is remaining. Oh well. That was that was a lot. Uh yeah, visually it looks a fair bit like Skyrim, but it's a very different game. Yeah, well I am. Uh, Imperial Ithme. Let's take some prisoners. We're down to 12 people. We're just going to take all their shit, though. Uh, return to back to Acton to claim a reward. We talked to... What? We did talk to a noble. I guess, is uh the other guy not really a noble? I don't know. Or does he not count? Nine hundred dinars. I hope this makes it worth the blood spilled. Uh, thanks, this will come in handy. I need the money, so... Of course, party gains two renown. Your relations increase by four to four with Acton. Desert extortion at any Quest completed. Can we recruit more people then? Because this guy has more sway with it. Oh, you need five to get that slot. That's that's a lot. We're only up to twelve hundred. Uh, buy products. We could head back to the city, and I think we can sell these for 35, or for 30. Well, the guy told me about the battle, but oh well. Uh, let's leave. Approach the gates and hail the god. Request entry to the castle. Go to the Lord's Hall. If they actually let me in. Oh, cool. I can have a conversation maybe with the Lord. No. I'll just go to the castle courtyard. Doesn't look like we can actually do anything in here. Maybe they're not here. Go to the dungeon. Enter the dungeon. There are no prisoners here. Their crime rate is zero. All right, let's head back to the to the towns then. Uh, maybe to Sestabam. Because we do need to go all the way around to uh, Lycaron. We could go back the way we came, but this could be better. See some places we haven't seen yet. Recruit some folks. That's up to 16 by products. What do you got for us? Silver ore. Wow. 
it's on Poros for 199. That was the main city we were at already? Yeah. All right, maybe we won't do that yet. Before we start investing, I'll get a better idea of what the things go like. Recruit troops. Good enough. Are you trying to hunt those villagers? How dare you? Alright. I'm hoping we'll just get there by the time uh, we've done a bit of healing. knuckle bones oh we can actually afford what's her face as well but I do want to get to two thousand dollars first uh, well let's go to the tavern district ransom your prisoners visit the tavern hey there's not actually anyone here so we will have to go to Poros again Get the stabby lady. Back to town center. Um, go to the keep, maybe? Nope. Ah. Talk to her. See, there you go. Now then, come no closer, forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. I'm Corian. Who are you? I'm Regia, rightful empress of the Claradians. I'm Lady of Lycron and Onira. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? Of course. I do not witness the battle, but my husband Arnico spoke frequently of it. He was one of the Emperor's trusted commanders. He could not stop Noretzis from marching to defeat. But he managed to salvage something from the disaster. When the Sturgeons came over our barricades, he managed to lead a group of Noretzis guardsmen out, out the back. My husband's small force held together and were joined by stragglers and fugitives. He described the march back, no food, little water, marching day and night to keep ahead of the enemy's outriders, but they survived, the only organized imperial force to do so. The city was in a state of panic after hearing rumors of what happened. What does she... okay. Uh, Arenikos kept things from descending into chaos. When it came time for the Senate to choose the next emperor, there was no question that it should be him. I loved him before as a man, but that day learned to love him as something more. What a gift he was to the people of Calradia. Thank you. Uh, that's fun. Actually, can I... Do you have any jobs for me, maybe? Do not sell the weapons you take. Instead, go to the city and buy some hardwood. Turn that hardwood into charcoal and deconstruct the weapons. You get so much more money that way. Okay. To discuss... Uh, do you have any general thoughts on politics? Well, let me put things this way. We're the family of the martyred emperor. 
Every man wishes to leave what he has to his children, be it a tiny patch of land or the imperial throne. Everyone in Calradia, rich or poor, grasps this. The universal principle of maintenance, not the obscure laws of the Senate, is what makes an emperor in the eyes of the people. I will strive to be a good empress. I'll do my best, but I know well that whoever wins this civil war, landlords will still cheat tenants, city guards will still demand bribes, warriors will still kill men to steal their cattle, drunken husbands will beat wives. The plague and labor of childbirth will take more lives than all the evils of man put together. Still, men are willing to fight for me, though it gains them nothing for no other reason than the throne is my right. I will not betray these men. If I win in centuries to come, people will think back to my victory and think, heaven smile on those who fight for their rights. That's all one man can do. Uh, that's a... okay. Propose an alliance between our families through marriage. Whose hand are you offering? Yeah, never mind. Uh, I have a quick question? Never mind. Okay, bye. Ooh, there's more cities down here. You don't got nothing for me. Let's go to Sigoria. Actually, let's go to Morania. Because we've got to go back out that way. Because we're going to go to the other place. Anyone want anything? Buy products. Now. Okay, let's go to Sigur, Sigura now. Uh, leave. We'll try to kill some people on the way over here, if we can. Uh, that's a lot of people, actually. It's 21. It's almost 30 people. I think we could beat them, because they're kind of shit. Especially since it's a hideout and they're in different groups. The Sarai will start granting awards for deeds in the field. This doesn't have the support of the council. Okay. That's fun. Did we actually get our last guy back from that? We had one wounded still. Alright. Uh, follow me. There's a few encampments here. Hit my own dude. Ah. There are way too many people. We could go between each fire, but it kind of alerted them by charging, I think. Oh well. I think we lose everything now.
Uh, sure, why not? God damn it! That sucks. Fuck! Alright. I think that's gonna do it for tonight. That sucks. I shouldn't have tried to attack. I shouldn't have charged. I think that would have gone better if I just made them follow me and not alert them all to the fact that we were there. So I'll figure out what to do. I want all my people back. Uh, I guess we have to get more. I don't know how. Is there a way we can like negotiate with them? Is that a thing? Why not? Let's let's just go see if I can go talk to them. I still have everything in my inventory, so that's something. Fuck. I didn't realize when we went into the battle that I didn't have, like, I only had fucking six people. If it had been all of them, it would have been fine. But that was my bad. Whatever. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just pissed. We'll have to start from scratch as far as people go. All right. Yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. So hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Uh, we'll be back with more of it maybe tomorrow. Actually, what day? It's Monday. I don't know if we have a stream scheduled for tomorrow, so we'll either play this or uh, we might do Rebellion on Twitch to record. But we're pretty far ahead of recording. So, uh, yeah. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.